Uh, this is a hydrocyclone, possibly the single most commonly used item of equipment in mineral processing and uh, wastewater treatment plants. The, the basic idea of the way it's running now is we're trying to separate solids from water. The specific solids we're using are ion exchange resin beads, they're little polystyrene beads. That This is how long they take to settle in normal solution under gravity. You see that they're settling, but it's taking time. If we had a tank that was processing this flow rate of fluid just in a settling tank, we'd be looking at something the size of a bathtub. Instead, you can come over and go ahead and have a look at it. You can see that what's coming in here is a suspension of the ion exchange resin beads. And the beads are all being concentrated in this conical portion and discharging through the spigot here. And what's coming out in the overflow is clean water. The solids are completely separated from the water in a few seconds. So run when you're simply trying to remove solids from water. So you use that in water treatment plants. One of the big applications that I normally use it for, and that I've done a lot of research with, is using them for separating particles by size. For, for example, mineral processing plants are grinding millions of tons of ore a year. And in these grinding plants, the mills reduce particles in size in a random way, so some of them get broken to a very fine size, some don't get broken at all. So once they exit the mill, you need to quickly sort them by size and send the coarser ones back for regrinding while the finer ones go on to your, your final processing. So in that case, you would set the hydrocyclone so that the coarser particles discharge through the apex and go back to the grinding mill. The finer particles would settle more slowly, would be carried to the overflow and sent off to the further processing. Uh, these ion exchange resin beads, by the way, are, are mainly used for things like water softeners and uh, picking up metals from solution.